All right, so today, for today's uh, kind of quick tip, uh, what I want to go over is how you can import designation or clip lists into OnCube. Now, this is something that's a relatively quick thing to do. It requires a little bit of tinkering with a load file, but it's really worth it because it's going to save you a lot of time uh, in the end. Uh, and so next week, I'm going to be out of town. Uh, I anticipate we're going to have to make some impeachment clips. Now, we're not going to be using OnCue in the courtroom. We're going to be supporting a client that's going to be using TrialPad to run uh, their trial presentation in court. But this particular client, what they typically do is they'll send us a list of a bunch of potential impeachment clips. We'll make them either in Premiere Pro or previously in Trial Director, um, and then send them via Dropbox like. 10, 20, sometimes up to like 100 potential impeachment clips for let's say the cross of their key opposing expert. And so uh, I wanted to go over this process uh, for you guys because it's something that we do internally. Uh, and I'll show you not only how do you get the clip lists created in OnCue, but how can you get the clips out of OnCue in case you want to put them in something else. Let's jump into OnCue so you can see kind of what we're working with. I'm going to jump into the old file that I made uh, last week, the test file. Uh, you could see kind of the JTXs that I imported last time. And we were working mainly in the annotations phase, kind of I was showing you how to navigate through exhibits quickly and pull things up. Um, but today we're going to go to the edit designations uh, workspace. Um, from there, we're going to pick the, uh, there's two things we're going to look at. We're going to look at the transcripts and the designation section. Um, last week, we uh, already added this transcript uh, and the sync file and the videos to the case file. Uh, and this is where we're going to be looking, um, but we're going to be making designations using a load file. And so if you head over to the help uh, in OnCue, they have a really good help function. You can find the help if you go to OnCue and go into help and go to the online help center. Uh, there's a search bar that will pop up. Uh, the answers that you're looking for are probably there. It's really helpful. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a designation list. And there's a little bit of basic formatting that you have to do. I've kind of gone ahead and started populating something that we need. Um, and you just use uh, open up a notepad and untitled notepad here. And the first thing you want to do is just enter some basic information about uh, the transcript that you want to be working with. So the first one is ID. You have to say ID equals and just give it a name. I'm going to name it M. That's the la first initial, the last name of this uh, particular witness. And then the next line, you have to put the transcript. What's the transcript name? And here I've entered it here. You can find out what that information is by going to the transcript section in OnCue. And you look at it here, you just copy, you just retype everything that's right there. And then after that, what you have to put in is the pages and lines that you want. And then from there, uh, looking at the notepad, now that we have the ID, what we're going to name it, and the transcript that we want to work with, then we have to add in the clip information that we want, the, the pages and line ranges. And so back to that help on importing designations, uh, tells you not only the basic formatting, but if you scroll down, it tells you the variety of ways that you can give on cue uh, page and line information that it'll understand. And if you kind of look through some of these, space or tab delimited, import, comma delimited, colon and dash. Um, this is the way that I tend to write uh, page and line information, so that's natural for me. Um, that's the way that I'm going to do it. So what I'll do is I'll take an example, and now these aren't going to line up exactly because I'm using um, a deposition from one case and the clips that have been requested from another one, um, but it doesn't really matter just to give me some arbitrary numbers and lines. Right, so I'll open up an old email that I had for this particular witness, and this is what the attorney gave me. Um, she gave me um, all this information here. So clip one through, let's see, for this one, there were 22 uh, clips that she wanted made. I'll just go through and do like the first three or four and just to give you an idea. So let's scroll back up here. So for clip one, it is, so she has it like kind of like right here that she kind of copy pasted from whatever she's working with. I think this particular client works with transcript pad, so I probably could have asked him them for like a transcript pad report export in a TXT format. That would have made things a lot easier. But let's say your client just gives you something in an email and you want to be able to create a load file from it. Here's how you do it. So I got this 10612 to 10616. I'll come to my notepad 
and I'll just paste it and I'll delete some of this page data, right? And put a dash in there. And so now trial pad knows. And here's what I'll do. I'm gonna move this to the right hand side and this to the left hand side. The next one is uh, 187 line 9 through 19 it looks like and I could just write it like that 9-19 I don't have to write dash and then 187 again if it's the same page you don't have to write the page number twice it's pretty smart it understands all that the next one is 149 20 to 152 you don't have to worry about a three digit number and a two digit line just it understands the number it, it'll add the leading zeros or not worry about leading zeros if you don't want it to clip 4 is going to be 59, 14 to 64. And then let's add one more clip in here, clip five. And notice these are out of order. I think that's gonna be fine. 15, 21 to 16, 11, all right? So I will then now save this as a clip list, just anywhere. And then let's minimize that. All right, close this up. And now I'll come over, I've been in this transcript section, I'm gonna go down to designations, and I'm gonna hit this plus sign, and I'm gonna add import designation from text. All right, so I got that. It's gonna look for that text file. I have it on the desktop, I'll hit open. Uh, perform update if record already exists, I'll check that. And now it's gone through, and if I twirl that down, it has made M.1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and these are the page ranges that are already in there. So now I've got all my clips already made. Um, ideally, what I would then do is, not even ideally, as a matter of basic practice, you would go through and edit these and check them to make sure that uh, there aren't any objections in there that might need to be removed, or you check them to make sure that the previous uh, answer doesn't get accidentally incorporated into the next question, or that the answer doesn't get cut off. And you can go through that by selecting each one of these clips individually and then editing them, editing them down in here, in this section down here, all right? But uh, what we'll do for this one is we'll pretend we've already gone through ahead and done that process and now we're going to export them. Um, now, if I export these as they are right now, it'll give me one video uh, with the five clips that just play rapid fire. Now that's not what I want for impeachment clips. And so uh, what I really want to do is I want to split these up. And the easiest way to do that is I could have either kind of made my uh, import list uh, to have and create instead of just M, it would have been called M.1, M.2. Let's, let me show you how I could do that, right? So let's show an alternate, let's go to my desktop, and I'll show an alternate clip list. I'll just save this as clip list two, right? The other thing that I could have done is, instead of doing it this way, I could have then copied and pasted it, say five times, one, two, three, four, five, and each time just include the clip that I want, right? So this one would be that, and then for that ID, I might call it M1, right? And then call this one M2, and just type in that information, right? Call this one M3 and just have number three in there. Call this one M4, and just have M4 in there. This one M5, that one in there and save it. Now if I imported this one, it would have given me five separate designations lists instead of one designation list with five clips inside. I don't know if that, hopefully that makes sense. All right, so ultimately what I want is five separate files. Now the way that I can do that, if I've already made the list, which I think is the easier way, make the list first and then split them up later, is I can go through here, click on the list, right click, and I could split the designation list. All right. So then um, when I split it up, I gotta give it a name, and I'll call it M, and I'll call it, start it at M1, right? And then it'll give me uh, a naming format convention, which is how I normally give my impeachment clips. So I'll normally give it like in the last, the initials of the deponent, 
a number of the clip if the client has given me a number of the clip, and then the page range of the clip so that way they can look through it on trial pad really quickly to see which clip that they need. And so it says beginning page, beginning line, to end page, end line, that's perfect. And then I wanna separate all the designations, and it tells me five new designation lists will be created, and that's exactly what I want. Hit OK. And now I have M1, M2, M3, M4, M5. Those are the lists that I want. And now, if I look at each one, each designation list is really just one clip. Inside, same thing with this one, same thing with this one, same thing with this one, and that one. Right? And they're already named in the exact same naming convention that I already want, auto-populated, so that's great too. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those clips, the five, and I'll right click and export them, export the designation list to video files. And then I'll export them as MPEG-1s. Unfortunately, that's my only option. I wish there was an MPEG-4 option, but that's okay. Uh, hit okay, and I'll just wait for these clips to get exported. It'll take a little bit of time. Hit close, minimize this, and now I can see that I have five video clips that are all named appropriately, and I've made all the impeachment clips that I want. So that uh, really cuts down on some of the workflow, uh, makes things a lot easier. A very quick way of making one, five, or even 50 impeachment clips uh, very quickly all with the help of using a load file or a designation list. So if you have any questions about that, let me know uh, in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys down there. Thanks for watching this one, and I will see you next time.